Today I'll be talking about a powerful testing framework, Oracle Flow Builder. Manual testing has always been time consuming, especially when there is a code update or a fix. Manual testing can be a major problem if it has to run over and over. Many times companies are forced to descope or cut down on testing to meet deadlines. The automation would be a great solution for this problem, but it is not easy to find technical resources to automate your manual test flows. Not to mention that when the application changes through an upgrade or an enhancement, these automated test scripts might have to be thrown away and you have to create new ones. Oracle Application Testing Suite, or OATS, offers few testing solutions. We have Oracle Functional Testing Suite, Oracle Load Testing Suite, and Oracle Test Manager. Today we will focus on functional testing. Oracle Functional Testing Suite supports functional and regression testing. It also offers web and Oracle application testing accelerators. And a powerful testing framework called Oracle Flow Builder. So what is Oracle Flow Builder? It's a keyword-driven framework that will allow you to create test flows in three stage stages. First, let's talk about keywords. Keywords are the different user actions such as click, set text. There are 66 keywords available to perform these different actions. When you sequence these keywords to perform a specific transactions, then you have a component. For example, creating a sales order header is a component. Creating a sales order line is another component, and so on. Each component is a set of keywords that are grouped or sequenced together to perform a transaction. These components can be saved and used repeatedly in different flows. Also, if you find yourself using a set of components frequently, for example, creating a sales order header and creating a sales order line, those are used frequently. You can just group them into a component set and save them to be used in different flows. Once you have your components and component sets defined, all you need to do is assemble them together to create an automated business flow. Data can be uploaded via Excel. We'll talk about that later. Now let's start, uh, take a look at Oracle Flow Builder in pictures. First, you have the different keywords lined up in a specific sequence. Second, you create different components depending on the sequence. For components that are frequently used together, you create component sets. Finally, you can assemble the components and component sets to create the test flow and generate your test scripts. With Oracle Functional Test Suite, you get the open, the open script with a traditional record and play. And you get advanced scripts for Oracle applications. Oracle Flow Builder will also be included as part of the Functional Test Suite. Oracle Flow Builder is data independent. Since we upload data to the flow using Excel, we can use different sets of data with, with the same flow. Also, it's easy maintenance. When, when the application changes, you do not have to throw away your automated test scripts. 
if you have a new form or page all you have to do is create new components to support that form or page and you can use them to create flows Oracle Flow Builder has a great UI you can create a flow by dragging and dropping components to create your flow non-technical people should not find it difficult to use to reduce your testing efforts and get you ready to test you also get a pre-built EBS test content you get over 2000 components that are available for you to, assem uh, to assemble your flows you also get over 200 flows that are already created and available for you to run all you need to do is create your own flows with the available components and add your data for customization you can create your own components and add them to your library of components to use in to use them in different flows the the EBS quality assurance team has been using flow builder for over a year and a half now and they were able to reduce automation time by 60 percent the library of 2,000 plus components and over 200 flows that are that, that you get with Flow Builder is across EBS applications. Now let's watch a demo that takes you through the creation of an automated sales order test flow. Here we're logging into Flow Builder application. You get into the home page. We click on a component section you can search for your components by browsing as you can see on the left side and we're gonna look for uh, create sales order components so if you go to the create sales order on the left side here you browse and you find the create sales order header create sales order line and so on you can also search by entering keywords and hit the search button and you can get the same results on either side that's how, you can, how easy it is to find your components. For flows, it's the same way. You can either search for the flows via keywords or you can browse for your flows. Now let's go ahead and look at the order management flows. In fact, we're gonna create a flow. So let's create a flow to create sales order. We enter the name of the flow, create sales order. There would be a checker built in to make sure that you don't overwrite other flows and then you select the flow type will select certification flow you enter any tags you, you you want and a description for others to read now you have the beginning of your or the start of your flow started now let's get the components in this is our library of components here on the left so let's start by going to the generic components like prompt URL to get to the application, log into OAF. These two components will get you in. Now let's go uh, get a component set to create sales order. Again, we go back to our library. We look for the component sets to create sales order. And it's right there, create sales order component set. If you open up that component set, you would see that it creates a header and it creates a line. So we can either do it component by component or group them in a set to use over and over. Now if I want to book that sales order, I go back to the library, search into my components under order management, of course, on, on the same product, and get the book sales order. Now I have a sales order that's created and booked. All I need to do is close up the application to clean up to have a clean flow now we close all forms and exit application for data you can either enter your data by component so you right click and do enter data and you enter your data for that component login information you save or the better way is to right click on a, on a flow and generate download the Excel spreadsheet and that gives you the template for your data you can enter data in here and use different set of data anytime you need if you want to take a look at the code that's been generated right click at the flow name and you can see the actual code within that flow
if you're interested to look you don't need to do that but if you're interested you can do that if you want to see what the flow does uh, if you want to see the test plan you can just download your test plan and you can get it in either HTML format or a Word document and this is your test plan with the front page control uh, document control table of content uh, the outline test outline and also you can get the detailed step-by-step -step script the demo if you have any questions please feel free to contact me mazenovar at oracle.com or you can email Srikanth Krishnan at oracle.com thank you for watching